Let's talk about why you have different shaped leaves on the same fig tree. So we're going to use this black Madeira here as an example. And these are the classic leaves that you associate with a black Madeira when it's full and mature. Now, what's interesting is if I'm looking at the same tree, you notice that it has these deeply lobed, leaf, or deeply lobed leaves down here at the bottom. And that's coming from the same plant. The little stem is coming up here. And sure enough, these leaves look a lot different than these leaves up here. So why is that? Well, one of them is the difference in hormones and on different parts of the plant. So this is a younger, newly developing shoot down here. It's less mature. And typically when you have that, you can see deeper lobed leaves like we have right here. Also, if it's more shaded, that's another reason why you could have that difference down there. And then uh, the technical term is polymorphism. So different genetics uh, that are at play in different varieties of fig trees can result in different um, types of polymorphism and how those leaf structures express over time. But uh, when collectors are looking at different types of fig trees for something like a black Madeira, it's actually something you look for. If the leaves were uniformly consistent all across the tree in different uh, growth stages, that's a sign that it might not actually be a true to variety specimen that you have. So it's pretty interesting. So don't be worried if you have uh, different shaped leaves on the same fig tree. That's actually pretty common. And uh, it's, a, it's a naturally occurring thing. It means nothing uh, as to whether your fig, it doesn't mean anything having to do with your fig tree being sick or um, defective in any kind of way. So yeah, hope that quick little lesson about leaf structure is interesting and maybe even a little bit entertaining and informative.